Hello everyone, I'm Neverdown. Welcome to my channel. This is episode 27, which is um, a multiple of 9, which is very important because 9 means long something uh, in Chinese, maybe, I guess. Uh, and that means that this is a particularly long episode, um, which I don't know if it is. I should, I should have checked the runtime. Um, I can make it long if it needs to be long. Uh, but this one might be, because we're going for one of the more detailed backgrounds. We're going for Kelvin and Hobbes level detail in the background. Uh, because in this comic, I actually have two ideas. Uh, I have two bad ideas, but if they go together, it just kind of looks like a whole idea. Uh, so we're going to go with that. I wanted some commentary on the leaves falling because it's autumn here. And we got all the beautiful leaves falling and it's really great. Uh, it's probably winter by now, but the leaves were falling and it was really nice. Uh, so I just wanted to comment like, oh, do you think that... The, the, the trees are sad. Uh, the leaves are falling. Probably. They probably gave them all different names. Are they their children? Uh, certainly the seeds we consider babies. Uh, so they just throw their babies into the air and this, that's great. And then, wait, they drop the babies and then they drop the children? And then they're the adults. This is very confusing. The babies and the children are connected. I don't get what's going on here. Maybe my metaphor is messed up. Uh, anyways, I don't think trees care. I think they're fine. I think it's like a major haircut in the, in, the, in the fall. Except the pine trees are all like, what are you doing? You don't need to get rid of all that. You're naked. Ugh, cover up. Yeah, the pine trees probably don't know what's going on with the deciduous trees. You know, coniferous trees is, that's where it's at. Look at this shaggy, thick coat I've got here. Pretty luxurious. I'm enjoying the winter. I don't really grow in the winter, but... You could. I mean, I don't, but I could. Um, you know, unrelated to anything, look at the crash landing here, actually. Last time I talked about robots, I also like just drawing imaginary spaceships and stuff. Uh, so here he's got like a box plane spaceship. I don't know what he's done. Um, and I like doing that as a kid, building things and then pretending also goes back to Calvin Hobbes. But I like doing it myself. I often had, like I had a, a sofa. And the cushions sort of interlocked really nicely. Uh, so you can make nice cushion forts, but also you can pretend it was a car or something like that and have it in open space and be like, beep, beep. I just ran over half a dozen people. Uh, so I like imagining these kind of things. And I like, so you know, picturing here, Logan and Tommy, they're always together. I don't know, dream team, um, crashing. Now they're not that heavy, so their terminal velocity is really low. Uh, so they're not gonna get hurt, of course, no matter how high they fall from. Like Tommy can never get injured uh, from a fall because, you know, button mushroom, what are they, like 30 grams? Like nothing, they, they might even get blown back up again. Um, so they crash land their box. Uh, and they're kind of a two-panel gag, just in themselves. Uh, that's just a visual funny thing, and it's just kind of fun to see Logan messing up. I don't... Logan's confusing. He's like an adult-level person who interacts with people at that level, but then he's also like a kid all the time. So I don't know where he is on the spectrum. All over the place, really. Um, the first two panels are their own little thing, gag. And then the second two panels, separate gag entirely. Um, I don't know. That's fun. Uh, something I definitely learned from other comic artists um, that I've been reading is you either have a good gag or you just have something fun and cute. Uh, Exocomics does that all the time. Um, loading artist typically has a good gag. Um, at the expense of violating physics. Now, I, I'm not doing that generally in my comics because I want to try to build a a world that I can explain and justify to you guys. Uh, so you guys can have some expectations of what will actually happen in this world. So I can't violate physics. So I don't have that in my, my toolkit. Maybe I'll start a new comic that does that. Probably not. No, I'm not doing that. That's too much work. <laughs> um, but so I just go for, yeah, I'm, I'm in this one, I'm going for the fun. Um, although I do think it's kind of, do I think it's funny? Yeah. What they said, it's sufficiently engaging to Bruce to frame it in the in the guise of a comic uh, for you guys. Now, in this comic, I'm doing something rare, which is taking the shadow and adding a bit of orange to it or blue. I'm trying to tint the shading to give it more of a like, this is like 3.30 p.m. after daylight savings time has kicked in. Uh, so it's like later in the day. So the, the shading, the shadow should be a bit different. They shouldn't be just the same hard 
dark gray that I'm always using. Uh, so I want to get a bit of a color tint on it uh, to give it a bit of that feel. So the, the greens are a bit yellowier uh, than normal and such. That also helps push the color palette to be more consistent with the, the trees. Um, and sometimes I have a problem with that. Uh, I don't always get the color palette consistent in an agreement. Uh, that's a failing on my side. I need to pay more attention to color theory and whatnot. Um, sometimes I'm lazy. Uh, so here I'm going to go all out in the background. I'm going to put a lot of effort into this background because then I'm going to copy paste it into the next four panels. Um, I don't... Hmm, I don't like the cheapness of copy pasting, but I like putting a lot of effort into something and using it. Uh, so if I can get a lot of mileage out of it, that's good. I don't actually have time to do, you know, 18 hours into one comic. I have other things to do. Uh, so I'm okay with this. They're not wandering around too much in the forest. That's okay. Uh, and I think you guys are probably fine with it. You don't care. <laughs> um, my own personal preference is, of course, to have different backgrounds in each scene. But if it's totally appropriate for the comic, we're going to go copy-paste. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have... I don't think I've ever copy pasted the foreground. If anybody knows which comic I have done that in, feel free to comment below and you might win a astounded surprise reply by me in the comments. So good luck with that. I don't know what that is. You saw nothing in the background there. Forget. I don't know. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your autumn, your fall, your winter, uh, whatever season it happens to be. And I hope that you guys enjoy this comic, because this comic is a celebration of the seasons and the ending uh, of the particular one that we are currently in, transitioning into the next one. Uh, we are not going to be seeing any more wild animals poking around. So, that's unfortunate. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!